I've always been a fan of showing the application first and then getting into how we got there, sort of reverse engineering the entire process and, and going over the technique that way. It works for me, hopefully it works for you. I have here a very basic XPages application. I have a button that sits across the top, sort of like an action menu. I can click on that and it opens up the OpenNTF extension library's dialog control. Within that dialog control, I can see here I have a form. Now, typically, if you were to submit this, it would use the partial refresh uh, type of submission and it would submit the contents of this form via HTTP GET. The GET method is great. It allows you to send content really dynamic looking. However, and that's how most AJAX functions. However, the limitation therein, you cannot have multi-type content. So, I could use a form in a dialog control all day. But as soon as I try to attach a, a file or include other multi-type content, that'll be stripped out in the resulting notes document when I save this back. We found a workaround. And this is what this application does. Completely seamless to the user. So I'll select a file attachment. Let's grab an image. And I'll click Save and Add More Files. Now, these two buttons, Save and Add More Files and Save and Close, essentially do the same thing. Save and Add More Files allows you to continue saving. You'll see this title actually updates dynamically. I get a new title because it's a brand new form. I didn't have to close the dialog and go back in. The second thing it does in the back end is updates that view panel. So you're constantly seeing the new documents as I upload them. Now save and close actually finally kills the OpenNTF extension library dialog and I'll have my documents here. Now a few other things that really go beyond the scope of this demo but I figured I'd throw in there just for fun uh, is the ability to select and delete documents directly from the view really slick again kicks off that partial uh, refresh of the view panel gives it more of a complete application feel you're more interacting with the application um, the other part is having a file download control within the view column and those who have been following my tutorials on how to take the view panel take a view column from there and really run with it by not rendering view content within that view column but treating it uh, adding a panel and and creating your own data source that comes into play here so we can see here I'll click on an attachment and actually grabs the attachment and allows me to pull it down it's not a link out there's no repeat control and I can hide this if there's no attachment I can display it's really dynamic and it uses sort of the best of both worlds so let's see how we did it I'll pull out the designer client now I typically run a higher resolution so bear with I'll be slow going through this but here's my home.x, uh, my home x page. You can see here I'm just using uh, core, I'm using a custom control, and I'm using the OpenNTF uh, extension library. I have here the extension library dialog called dialog file upload, and within here I have my custom control. Now my custom control is very basic. It just says, okay, it's an iframe, and I have three properties, the element source, the element ID, and the element class. Once I pass that through, it acts as a container. So I'm using an iframe within this dialog, and what that does is it allows me to, to treat that as a portal. I open up that dialog, and I'll go back to the demo so you can see this at play again. I open up this dialog. And the contents in here are completely dynamic. This might as well be Google. And to show you really how the, this works out, let me go into the theme and I'll in a sense turn off the CSS. I'll reload 
It's functional, but it's ugly. And you can see here is a file download control. You can see it all in its raw, rad, for non-CSS styled and themed out format. So I'll click on this. It still surfaces the dialog, but you can see there's actually a padding in here, and the iframe resides within here. If I inspect this, you'll see that the the page itself, and here's the iframe, points to file upload.xsp. If I were to launch this separately, you'd actually see it's an X page. I could go in here now, it's throwing a JavaScript error, but that's sort of the purpose of this, and I'll get into that in a second. Let me go back in, turn on the theme, or at least bring in the, the CSS again, so I don't have to stare at this ugliness for far too long. So there, we've got this seamless looking part of the dialogue. It's really nice, and I can even grab an attachment, throw it in. I'll save and close. So let's take a look, because our, our home has that dialogue. Let's take a look at the actual functional piece, because there's, there's two more s specific things that we should point out within the home page. You have the view, and it's within a div with an ID of notes view. That comes into play because it gives us a container that we can refresh via partial refresh. Now I have a simple script block here and this will generate JavaScript, um, client-side JavaScript, uh, using uh, a combination of client JavaScript and SSJS syntax uh, to really give me what I need. And what I need is this, two functions, high dialog, uh, underscore file upload and that's a function that initiates an XSP partial refresh get which is essentially hey go refresh that underlying view panel right here and when that's done I use digit by ID to get a handle on the dialog file upload and I hide it now there's a second function that just refreshes the backend document let's see both of those in play within the file upload. Really nothing amazing here. Uh, the first thing I do is with a script block is get a handle on the parent. Now in this context when I open up the dialog control the form which is in that iframe its parent is home.xsp and to be able to make a call to, that refreshes the view via partial refresh so I get that more dynamic feel I simply just call a function that I've defined and that's refresh notes view I call that via parent dot refresh notes view so every time I open up this file upload it actually says oh go to your parent and refresh. And that's why when I open it up in its own separate page there was a JavaScript error. There was no parent. It was opened up. It's an orphan, so to speak. So I have text. Uh, it's an H1. That's what you see the uh, file upload here and that's CSS styled. Uh, you see title, file, attachment. Those are all standard right out of the box. If I even toggle over to the design, you, you see it's all very basic. Uh, the function uh, really comes in and you'll see even this is basic you have um, your save and close I'm doing a full submit it's a submit type button full update and my page says go to file upload and make it a new document the target action is a new document the save and close Again, it's a submit. This opens up the hide dialog. So we can see, again, this script, as I open it up, it refreshes the back end for me via the parent uh, refresh notes view function that's housed within the home.xsp uh, x page, takes care of it for me. The hide dialog, all this does, and this goes old school web developer hackery. The script block that says parent hide dialog file upload. 
which does something really cool here if we look at the X page. The hide dialog file upload says, okay, do your partial refresh get. So refresh the notes view container, thus updating the, the embedded panel here, the, the view panel, show me my updated document. And on complete of that function, go ahead and hide the dialog. And you'll see here, let me grab a rather large image. I think these are somewhat hefty. So I'll save and close. You'll see it's actually updating here. And as it's processing, you'll see this refresh before it closes the dialog. And there we go you now have this fully functional dialogue-based form that also accepts rich content. And all you have to do is you know, go old school with the development, abandon the get method approach, that, that Ajaxian type of development style, and you get some pretty slick functionality.